we consider all the immeasurable contributions that our nation has provided to the world, the entire world, the entire planet, making our world a better place. Of all those wonderful technological innovations, medical innovations, economic aid contributions, often what's overlooked, one of those great American inventions that we've shared to make the world a better place is the notion of a public school education. What we think of today as public school education was never known on our planet prior to the innovations that were really spearheaded largely by two great heroes in American history. The first being Thomas Jefferson, perhaps best remembered today as the third president of the United States and the author of the Declaration of Independence, yet this is the man who largely made the notion of public education, free public education in the United States a reality. He got the movement going. Skip ahead to the beginning of the 20th century and our next great American hero, John Dewey, who transformed what was being taught and how it was being taught in the public schools from reading about subjects to actually having our students do the stuff of the subjects. So instead of reading about music in music classes, the students actually make music in the school classes. Instead of reading about science experiments in the physics class, the students do the experiments in the physics class. This is one of the reasons why in the modern, enlightened sense of what we think of what public education should be, why music always has been, is, and will continue to be considered an essential subject. Not because it's a nicety, not because it's something nice to see on the football field during halftime, not because, because band keeps students off the streets and off of drugs and out of gangs, not for these reasons, because to be well educated means that you're also developed as a musician. Heck, choir, orchestra, and band are so indispensable, so ingrained into what America is about, Music in the public schools is as American as baseball, apple pie, and mom. I dare say that music is as American as a Sousa march.
takes a college professor to turn in a proposal to get grant money to do a study on something we already know to be true. Such is the life of academia. You professors are guilty of this. But over the years, in these <coughs> students' lifetimes, in fact, several studies have been completed and repeated and proven once again what we already know. And that is that children who have music making as part of their education turn out to be smarter students. They turn out to be better team workers. They do better on math tests. They are better problem solvers. We know this to be true. We didn't need a study to prove it, but we got the scientific studies there to verify. And it might sound a little shocking to you to hear me say this to you tonight as a college professor, as a band director, as a music teacher, but quite frankly, all those wonderful benefits of music education identified in these studies really don't matter. Because the fact is, if you want your students in schools to have better math classes and do better in those math classes, then hire great math teachers. <laughs> That is how you get great math scores. We don't have music in the public schools to boost up math scores. That's just a nice little benefit that comes from having music in the public schools. The reason why we have music as part of our curriculum at every level, and the reason why we are disgusted when we hear about music programs being cut back, and why we are inspired when we have new schools being built that understand the importance of music and the performing arts and to have such spectacular facilities such as this, even in economically lean times, where some people might actually question the financial prudence of building a performing arts center such as this. Ignorant. <laughs> Why does it matter? Because quite simply, to put it in the most blunt terms, to be a human being is to be a musician. Now granted, some people create music, and others might only receive music. But the fact is that all of us are innately musicians. Psychologists verify this, anthropologists verify this, Archaeologists verify this. Brain neurologists ver verify this. Music is actually one of the unique intelligences, intelligences of the human brain, unlike any other mammal. The fact is that there has never been a moment in the history of the human race, ever, in which music hasn't been a part. Music existed before other forms of human communication, before written language. And in some societies, in some cultures, music existed before the spoken language developed. So if we say we're providing our students with a quality education, and to say, however, we can no longer afford music, we might as well pack up shop. Oh, sure, we've seen some places where the music program was dropped from this school or that school, or tragically, wholesale in an entire district. And the argument might be made, well, those schools are still operating, the students are still getting an education, but they're not getting the education. The education that we as parents want our children to have because we want them to become the finest human beings that they're capable of, and without music, they simply cannot reach that potential. <coughs> we should be mortified that just two weeks ago in our state's capital, the city schools of Sacramento are entertaining the notion of dropping music entirely in that school district. In our state's capital, the fact is that it happens there, it will happen anywhere. We cannot let this happen. Not only can we not let it happen, the great things that are happening with the music program here in Antelope Valley, in the Antelope Valley schools, where music still exists, Oh no, not just that it still exists, that it thrives, that it's meaningful. We need to be making every effort to make sure, not this isn't good enough. This is good, but it's not good enough. We need to be keeping
keep working diligently to make sure that every school in the district has all three of the essential components of music making. Choir at every school, orchestra at every school, and band at every school, because we want our children, our sons and daughters, to have the finest education. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. No matter how bleak the economic news is, there are always resources available to ensure that a complete music program is always here for your schools, for your children, for your community. Why? Because it makes our world worth living in. From patriotic music, to feel-good music, to profound music. Yes, these students, these students' brains and character are all the better because they get to play Sousa, Deep River, Pachelbel's Cannon, Vida La Vida, <laughs> and the music of Johann Sebastian Bach.
along with being a college band director, is the privilege and the honor to receive invitations to guest conduct honor bands such as this. Truth be told, however, when I show up for these wonderful weekends, I oftentimes feel a bit like a charlatan. Because the reality is that the success of these students, in addition to their own individual hard work, the success of honor bands such as this is not because of this weekend. It's because of the day in and day out work, dedication, professionalism, and musicianship and artistry of the music teachers of the Antelope Valley. Scott, could I ask you to please, please bring the house lights up to full, please? Because we would be remiss not to take a moment this evening and recognize those men and women who make honor bands possible for these students. And so please, at this time, I would ask that all the music teachers from the Antelope Valley Schools and the private teachers who are also here at the concert tonight, please stand and receive a well-deserved ovation. not as a college professor, but as a parent and as a very proud citizen of the state of California. Parents in the audience, as many of you know, your child might be thinking about music as a major in college and this puts fear in your heart. <laughs> music major? You might as well be an English major or an art major. What are you going to do with that degree? <laughs> Let me assure you, that yes, it is, it is a demanding and challenging profession to pursue, but it is a realistic career objective for students of this caliber. Yes, the doom and gloom in the news is there every day, week in and week out. Tuition will continue to rise. Despite this, we're still the bargain of the nation. Because quite frankly, every other state in the union wishes they had the university systems that California has. And quite frankly, if the tuition at the Cal State schools were to increase by 10% every year for 10 consecutive years, the tuition that California residents would pay at a Cal State school after those 10 years would still be within the lower 50th percentile of state tuitions among the other 50 states. And quite frankly, most of those other school states don't have the universities that we have. The wonderful thing about our state is that you don't just get to say, hey, if I want to pursue music, I have to go to that state university because that's the only one that has it. You get to choose from many wonderful programs. Do not fear, do not lose sleep if your child is thinking about music as a major. And I would be happy to speak with any of you after this concert to assuage those fears that you might have. And for the parents of those students who are going to be pursuing other majors in college, please be part of the great foundation that these music teachers have given to your children. Make sure that when they graduate from their high school here in Antelope Valley, that they continue in their lives as amateur musicians by continuing to play and sing in the, in the choirs, orchestras, and bands at the college and universities that they go to. They will make the world all the more better because of this. Music in our world? Could you imagine no music in our world? We can't. We can't. Because to, to imagine no music in the world would mean that the human race would no longer exist on the world, in the world. It's that ingrained to who we are, what we are, and why we are. And on behalf of all of these incredible students, incredible families that see to it that Antelope Valley has music programs that are the envy of other school districts, to teachers and administrators who understand the essentialness of this, that's a lot to celebrate this weekend. And we thank you for being a part of this spectacular event, the Honors Festival for this weekend in, in, in Antelope Valley. 
And I can think of no other befitting way of closing the concert with just a, a piece of music that captures the excitement, the thrill that life brings to all of us in, 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 our, in our daily world. John Mackey's Undertow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 